Welcome back my loyal subjects to more Trails of Cold Steel, Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we defeated Klaus and Reen was in the middle of beginning the smackdown of his life, so let's jump right back into it. Okay. What the? An even cooler version of Laura's sword, which I did not think was possible. Can wield such a massive blade so deftly with just one hand? <sighs> Unbelievable! That's Galan Charles, a great sword that's been passed down in the Arsade family for generations. Galan Charles, what the heck? It was once wielded by the ancestor of our house, the second in command of the Eisenritter. I can sense incredible power within him. He may be even stronger than my master, which means that against him... Am I gonna have to fight Green this? Schwarzer of the Eight Leaves One Blade School, beginner rank. I stand ready. Victor S. Arsade, master and successor of the Arsade School. Ready. What in the heck is going Begin. on? What am I supposed to... No. Show me what you're capable of. Go! What does this mean? Reen's S Reen's S break hasn't changed? And I can't Ah! Oh. What a rip! I can't Ah! Oh. oh well. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. He's level 80! Get out of here! <laughs> what? Zero damage. Jeez. I don't know. Maybe I get something for surviving a certain amount of time? Uh... That's good. Radiant Cleaver? Jeez. Here we go. Um. Where the heck? There we go. Premium coffee. Nah. Huh. All I'm trying to do is just keep Reen alive long enough so we can hit our yeah. max. Miss! Oh, of course his range is probably insane. Um, we probably have a wider range of movement than he does. Let's get out of there. Yep, Here knew go. it. Arts, uh, Earth Pulse. Uh, this will increase our survivability and make it so that we don't have to heal every single turn. Whoa. Won't give up. Okay. Items. I know I'm kind of burning through my items, but I can all it's always the stuff that I can just make more of. So that's why I'm not super extra worried about it. We need that one that restores 3k. Huh. Ooh, that's good. Nope. Let's hit him with a flame slash. 200 CP. Everything the Reen's got at the moment. Nothing! Okay. The game's trying to tell me something, and I'm going to listen. It's not like I even had a choice. The back-to-back -back blasts with the sword. Ouch! This is why I tried to stop them. <laughs> I could barely even see what happened. It's not like Reen is weak. It's more that his opponent's strength is so far beyond his. Quite clearly. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what... I don't know what... What is that? What are you doing? This duel is not yet over. To your feet, at once. Father? <sighs> 
I mean, Rain did literally I ask know for this. You're capable of more than this. But if you're still too afraid to assert your true strength, then I have no choice but to force your hand. Now, show me. <gasps> Whoa! Huh? Reen did the flash step, dude. It disappeared? No. Too slow. Oh! Huh. This Reen is back. Whoa! This is... It, is this what Reen is afraid of? <sighs> Excellent. This is as it must be. This is the power that slumbers deep within you. But what is it? As long as you continue to cower in the face of it, you'll remain forever at a standstill. Okay, cool. But what is it? I want to see your true potential. Oh, wow. Okay. Something now. tells me I really should have seen this. 12 thousand HP holy crap okay first I can't do anything cuz I blew my load in that last fight when I was super dumb and should not have now all right miss now and then we're also just for good measure gonna use earth now. pulse on ourselves Okay, so we've got that little bit of assurance. Now. Our attacks do damage to him now. Now. Uh let's speed this up with items. What restores CP? The whole pumpkin grotten. I will save that actually for a later a later point in the fight. Let's... Well, first, hold on. I'm actually gonna re-up on Impassion. Now. Okay. And then our heal kicks Do in. Radiant Spin. <laughs> he just has better versions of all now. of Loras. Did my CP go down just there? I think I'm going crazy. I must be. Um... Okay, now. re up on Earth Pulse. <laughs> We're just gonna become an unkillable regen machine. There we go. Do not escape. <laughs> no, it doesn't decrease it. Now. From here, let us. No, I should motivate once we get closer to uh, 200. Um, we can't afford to attack. <laughs> Miss! There. Close enough to counter, too. Now. Alright, uh... Let us... Impassion. Now. And then next, we're actually going to, uh... Use Motivate. You will not escape! Now. Uh, no, actually, we're gonna be- we're not gonna motivate just yet. We need to earth this yeah. again. Yeah. It's all about keeping our HP high! Dang. It's probably possible- no, it's not probably, it's <clears throat> definitely possible for me to- <gasps> yeah. Cool, he missed! Let's, uh... 5k. That's a lot of damage you're expecting me to be able to do. Okay. A hit. Now. We'll hit him back. There we go. Okay. Let's give it everything we've got. Fall the ruin. And he's gonna double us a couple of times. Okay! We might... You will not escape. Okay, Radiant Spin. Yeah. Hold on, because we might actually be able to do this now. if we keep it up. Uh, first... 
We need to impassion again. No, Earth Pulse again. No, impassion. What am I talking about? Now. Yeah, we just keep him in a loop for the um. Hold on. I'm actually going to try beating the Radiant Blade Master. Um. Yeah, if we can pull this off five times, four more times, and then we'll be good. Heat up. Uh, no, Earth Pulse. Now. Though at some point I'm gonna need to restore my EP. Yeah! Now. Um, let's chance some EP restoration. Restore 300 EP. I think that's either my first time using an EP charge or like my second time. Escape. I've barely used them. Now. Excellent. Barring him taking like three turns in a row, we're actually gonna win this. Impassion. Um. Heat up. No, impassion. Yeah. Now. All right. I don't know. I'm probably being now. overly cautious. <sighs> But I'm not trying to chance it. Miss! Now. Too far away? Yeah, okay. Uh, hold on. We need to redo our Earth Pulse. Now. I'm so- I'm actually really excited! We're gonna, like, with the way this is going, we actually are gonna do now. this. It's gonna take a little bit, now. but we're gonna get this done. Um... We can attack now and impassion next turn. Now. Oh, um, hold on. We need to impassion right now, now. so we can motivate. <laughs> Miss! But we can't yeah. counterattack. Now. And then motivate. All right. He'll attack once more and miss. Attack again and miss. Or right, he hit us the second time, actually. Um, we've only got... I'm actually going to use uh, Earth Pulse because we've only got one more turn of healing. Okay. All right. Fall the ruin. The strength up, and also the 200 CP. Nine K. Okay, that's fine. Impressive, but not enough to best me. Don't do this to me! No! Time to finish this. Radiant Phoenix Slash. Okay. They knew, they knew I could get lucky and have my Arcus units set up in such a way that I could cheese the fight. All right, I respect the game for that. It was probably a special little cheat to get to see his uh, S-Craft anyways. Reen! Reen! Dude, we almost had it though! Wow! That dude was crazy! I actually agree, Milliam. That was intense. Yeah, though it all makes sense now. Why Reen asked the Viscount for a duel in the first place. He must be getting really comfortable if he'd let us see his, like, berserk rage side. You fool. Are you shouldering such a burden alone all this time? Are you all right, Reen? Father, there was no need to go that far. I'm fine. He held back. Probably wasn't even at 200 CP. I admit defeat. I mean, there's there's not really other, another option at this point, is there? I'm honored to have seen the Radiant Blade Master's signature technique. <laughs> I think you're finally starting to understand. Hmm. What we call power is simply a measure of one's raw strength. Sounds about right. Without knowing how to properly apply it, 
that has no real meaning. Okay, I get you. However, when you deny the power you already possess, you're only shortchanging yourself. You're right. I feel like I finally get what my master was trying to teach me about the laws of nature. Huh? But I'm afraid understanding that is only going to make me even more uncertain. Rain. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Stand up, dust yourself off, and step forward. Grapple with that fear each day if that's what it takes. Uncertainty weighs on the hearts of all people. But it's far preferable to standing still. Dude, why is Viscount Arce the best character, dude? He's a cool guy. So this is the Legrand Mansion, end of the first day. Okay. So Reen is probably going to be lying awake or something. Yep. Oh, no. No, he's going to open his eyes. Oh, no, he's asleep. Is it Laura? It's Laura who's not asleep. Oh, it's Emma and Laura. The mist seems to have cleared. So, that's the Saint's castle. You can't come out right now. Someone might notice you. Dude, Emma has a serious double agent thing going on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. That's Celine. The Radiant Blade Master may be scarily perceptive, but I doubt he'll notice my little moonlit stroll. Honestly. What the heck? Well, what do you think? I'm not sure how much we can count on the boy. It seems he's finally found what he needs to move past what's been holding him back. But I'm still not certain he's going to make it in time. So, and whatever larger... I'm surprised Emma is the person that's this involved in Reen's subplot. That's not for us to decide. Our role is to watch over and guide him, nothing more. What? I don't want you to do anything like that ever again. Like what? Oh, the golem. Fine, fine. Setting that aside for now. I'm sure you've already sensed it, but there's definitely something inside that castle. That place is out of our jurisdiction, but... I have a bad feeling about this one. Who is Emma? Me too. I suppose all we can do is point Laura toward it and hope she notices too. Please tell me Laura overheard that. Oh, I guess not. Though she was nowhere to be found. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Oh! 12 AP. Keep up the good work! Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I was half expecting to get some bonus, uh, to get some bonus AP for being clobbered by his S-Craft, but I guess not. Alright. So this is what a clear, sunshiny day in Legram looks like. Whoa! It pretty nice. If I had to pick one place in uh, the Trails of Cold Steel world I'd want in in Erebonia I'd want to live in, I would pick Legram. You'd get to train at the Arsade school, and Viscount Arsade is a really cool person. Laura is already one of my favorite characters, and Legram looks really nice. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to read that. <clears throat> wow, what a view! Looking at the lake is like gazing into a vast mirror. I suppose that wharf you can see in the distance must be over in the Sutherland province. You can see the Saint's Castle way more clearly today, too. So this is what Legram looks like on a clear day. It almost seems like we're in a different town. <laughs> well, both faces of the town have a place in my heart. Hey, I'm sorry for all the fuss I caused yesterday. Green. You really did. 
However, you did what you did out of necessity, correct? Yeah. Before yesterday, I'd never been able to recognize the truth behind my master's teachings. But crossing swords with your father, it was like I finally realized what he wanted me to understand all those years. I see. In that case, I won't criticize what you did. I can understand that feeling, struggling forward even in the face of adversity. <laughs> it seems the winds have granted you their blessing. Still, Reen, I think you owe us an explanation. What was that power you displayed during the duel? I've never seen its like. <sighs> It was so cool! Like you suddenly turned into a whole different person! Almost like some kind of power that was locked up inside you and came roaring out in one big flash! Yeah, I guess that's what it must have seemed like. Hmm... There's something... Some beast-like instinct sleeping inside me. And when I completely lose control of myself, it just swallows me up, transforms me somehow. I've known about it ever since I was a kid, and all my life I've lived in fear of it, of that other self. It seems a strange burden to bear. Something beast-like. I don't know, it seemed pretty cool. Besides, if it makes you even stronger, why not just be like that all the time? <laughs> I wish it were that simple. Years ago, I first asked my master to teach me the way of the sword in order to suppress that power. I thought that if I could master the art of fighting, I could master my fear and quell those instincts. But that did nothing to solve the underlying problem and, eventually, I ended up having my training discontinued. Pretty pathetic, huh? Oh, Reen. But you said that yesterday's duel helped you realize something, right? Right. I can deny it up and down, but doing that doesn't change the fact that it's in there some, uh, somewhere. And unless I can accept that, I won't be able to reconcile myself with the past, or really think about my future. I mean, that sounds so simple saying it now, but it took this long for me to realize it. Ooh! Ah, I see. <laughs> Trouble seems to seek you out, doesn't it? So you intend to accept your lot and move forward, even though the way is anything but certain? <laughs> That's actually rather inspiring. I hope you'll tell Group B what you've shared with us. I think they'd be really glad to hear it from you. Yeah, I think I will. I feel like everyone's been worried after what happened at the old schoolhouse last month. So Crow saw it before anybody else did. That's really weird. Bracer Guild starts us off immediately with Tovel. Tovel's probably got a thing or two to say. Hey, I heard the big news. You seriously dueled the Radiant Blade Master? <laughs> well, he was kind enough to give me the chance to test my skill against him. The gap between him and me is so wide that calling it a duel is being generous. Nah, don't sell yourself short. It takes some real guts to even think of trying to duel the Viscount. I know you've battled Sarah, and her strength is pretty intense, but he's on a whole different level. I can see you didn't achieve beginner rank in the Eight Leaves One Blade School for nothing. Yeah, you're surprisingly well informed. That's a bracer for you! Well, the guild has pretty close ties with the Eight Leaves One Blade School, after all. The guild has its hands in every single pot, doesn't it? Anyway, let me get you those tasks for today. Received Field Study Envelope August. Hmm, Field Study Day 2 Assigned Tasks. An Offering to the Departed. I would like to practice making an offering to Saint Sandlot. Would you be willing to help me gather the materials necessary to do so? If so, come see me at Legram Chapel, Sister Theramis. And this one is definitely from Tovel. There's another monster on the Ebel Highway, but we don't know what kind of monster it is. 
Monster Details Unknown, Location Ebel Highway. Don't let me down, Class 7. Get this taken care of ASAP. Oh, I was expecting there to be more, I guess. I am rather curious about this monster extermination request. Didn't want to overload you since I'm planning on giving you an extra task this afternoon. It sounds like this will be your last full day in Legram, so I want to get the most out of you while I've got you here. Anyway, get on out there and do what you do. Got it. No sense in waiting to get started then. Well, at least it shouldn't take long. Okay, let's roll on out! Okay. So we've got this, and our request, well, our third one for this, and I'm not sure if it was now or in the afternoon, but it'll be someone named Cindy, who is behind the Bracer Guild? Oh, whatever. I'm actually gonna go ahead. We're gonna fish once more. This looks like a nice spot. And this time, it will just be twice. Fish. <laughs> This looks really cool. Oh, it's another gluttonous bass. All right. Got, got it. Not bad. All right. Cool necklace was coughed up. Eh, let's call it there. So, and speaking of calling it, we are actually also going to call it a part here. We're gonna jump on to the rest of these requests. That will all be next time though, so join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel. Bye for now, guys.